Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, before we proceed any further, just wanted to give a big shout out to my channel sponsor, Fighting Mad, the pound for pound kings of boxing apparel. If you like that Sergio Kovalev shirt you see to my right, you can get that exact shirt and many, many more by going on the official Fighting Mad website. I'll leave the link for you right over here. <laughs> All right, now getting into the boxing news, now that we got our bills paid. Getting into the boxing news, um, further developments in the U2 boxer series, you know, because, you know, you got KSI and Logan Paul, which just fought recently, and, you know, they, for better or for worse, they put on a fantastic fight um, in terms of entertainment. I won't say in terms of boxing technique, but in terms of entertainment, they delivered. They delivered on, you know, giving the people that, you know, because on, on that night, I was, I was live for the Jamal Herring Lamont Roach fight, and I watched the whole undercard, and I watched. Um, a couple fights on his own undercard. It was the most entertaining fight of that night, so they, they deserve that much credit. But in regards to KSI versus Logan Paul, some new developments have uh, arised since the KSI and Logan Paul fight. As a former British journeyman, all right, former British journeyman, Robin Deacon, you know the man who once the man who once branded himself as the world's worst boxer, he wants to fight KSI. He wants to fight KSI. And he wants a showdown. He wants a dust up. He wants a, you know, he wants to fight KSI. So here's what uh, Robin Deacon said to KSI. He said, "I quote: I know KSI has beaten two YouTubers, but if he wants to be the best, he has to fight the worst. His reach and height don't matter at all, and neither does the weight difference. I'll put on two stone of fat, and I'll still batter him. It doesn't matter how much muscle you have. It's all about heart. I haven't got." I haven't currently got a gloves license, but I reckon I can get a Spanish one. I've got the heart to knock out KSI if he's up for the fight. Okay, so for those of you guys who are watching this video, my, my American viewers who aren't as up on your British boxing as myself or the UK subscribers are, Robin Deacon is a, a journeyman. He's probably one of the most well-known journeymen uh, in the UK. You know, um, his record was pretty piss poor. I mean, it was pretty piss poor. I mean, when we, when we talk Robin Deacon, we're talking about a true, a real life journeyman. Um, he had uh, his record was two wins. He had two wins and fifty three losses. Yeah, that's right. You, you you heard me correct. Two wins, fifty three losses. He's never um, he's never knocked anybody out in his two wins, and he's been stopped fourteen times in his fifty three losses. So this is a guy that's been around the block. That's been and a lot of um, in a lot of, in a lot of fights, he's boxed over 200 rounds in the professional ranks of boxing. And on top of that, you know, right now, if you're wondering what he's doing these days, because he hasn't he hasn't boxed. Uh, Deacon has not boxed since 2017. What he's doing these days is that he's he's actually signed up and he's participated in the bare knuckle fighting championships, so the, the bare knuckle boxing that that was recently started. So yeah, I think he he just had his first fight in bare knuckle boxing and fought to a draw. So good for him. He got got the first draw of his career. So you know he's. He's making some progress, but um, you know it's very interesting stuff. Uh, he hasn't boxed since 2017, and he hasn't boxed in England since 2015. So we're talking about almost half a decade, going on half a decade without him boxing in England. Um, his his actual like license, like so just just to give you guys an understanding of how bad he was in the ring. Okay, um, his 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 license, his boxer's license, was actually revoked by the British Boxing Board of Control because his record was so piss poor. So that's why he's in Spain. That's why he's saying he thinks he can get one in Spain. Now look, I ain't mad at Robin Deacon. You know, listen, we all gotta pay bills. We all gotta live. We all gotta get it how we can to, to make sure there's food on the table and more importantly in our stomachs. So I, I'm not mad at him. Go be ambitious. I could definitely, like, like, like Eddie Heron recently just came out and said, you guys haven't been paying attention to the news. Eddie Heron recently just came out and said, that he wants and he's interested in putting on more of these um, YouTuber fights. So you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I might have to get, it out, get in on it at some point. But um, no, he wants to put on more of these uh, fights with these YouTube vloggers like KSI and Logan Paul and Jake Paul and Joe Weller and, and these guys. And with that being said, I fully expect that it'll happen because l l let's have it right. Eddie Hearn loves money. And listen, listen. Every, every, every promoter loves money, but Eddie Hearn really, really loves money. So I anticipate that, that they will look into doing more uh, YouTuber fights because the KSI versus Logan Paul rematch was extremely lucrative. And listen, this would be, if it happened, it would, it would be quite interesting. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I, I like what Deacon said. He said 
uh, if, if he wants to be the best, he has to fight the worst, which is funny when you hear it, when you listen to that, but it's actually true, like, because if, if you look at all uh, the great fighters, they have to fight guys like Robin Deacon to become the best, you know? So, KSI versus Robin Deacon, the world's worst boxer versus a YouTube sensation. Sign me up! Sign me up for it. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack and you guys are going to say, oh, BT, true school, you... You, you, you're part of the problem. You're, you're, you're putting gas. You're, you're adding fuel to the fire. But look, man, look. Whether, I, whether I want to see the fight or don't want to see the fight, it don't matter. Eddie Herring, Eddie Herring ain't worried, worried about what I got going on. So he's gonna do what he wants anyway. And it would actually be inter interesting to see how KSI, who, you know, got away with a lot of mistakes against Logan Paul, does against an experienced, albeit, you know. Journeyman who got beat every every almost every fight of his career. I would like to see how he does against a guy like that. That 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 would actually be interesting. This is a guy Robin Deacon who has over 200 rounds in the professional ranks of boxing, and he's talking he's talking a big game. I mean he's talking about I'm gonna batter him, I'll stop him. So listen, he's never listen, he's never stopped anybody. So 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 if he can do this, this would be monumental for his career. I mean he he could he could go from being the world's worst boxer. To becoming the world's most well-known boxer, like, cause you gotta understand something, guys. For those of you who are like above the age of 22, okay, or not even, if, if you are, if you are like a, a 30 year old, if you're in your 30s or your late 20s, the odds of you knowing who KSI and Logan Paul are before this fight were were, were not that high. Um, if you're if you're above 35, you definitely don't know who KSI and Logan Paul is for the most part uh, before this fight will happen. But if Robin Deacon actually fought KSI, and if Robin Deacon actually stopped KSI, he would legit become a household name, or yeah, a household. He, he would become a household name um, overnight because a KSI he's pushing about like six, seven million subscribers. So why, why, what, what, if he is able to get that fight and he is able to stop him, it would be the best thing that ever happened to his career. What, 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 what Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury and all these guys are, are, are trying to accomplish by becoming becoming undisputed champion, he would get the kind of notoriety that very few fighters get when they unify titles. Like, because that's how big of a star on YouTube KSI is. You know, that's how big his reach is. And I'm sure Sky Sports, The Zone, and all parties about will get involved. And um, I want—I'm not lying. I want to—I actually want to see this more than I want to see the Logan Paul fight. The Logan Paul fight was whatever because you know it was just too. Two guys on YouTube who didn't, who didn't like each other, but this right here, you know, Robin Deacon is, is, is a career journeyman. He's lost almost every fight. Um, he labeled himself the world's worst boxer. So, the world's worst boxer versus a guy who's not even a boxer. Make it happen. Make it happen. I'm, I'm, I'm behind it. Make it happen because then it's like if Robin Deacon goes in there, right? Like you got, you got to look at it like this. If Robin Deacon goes in there, and let's just say he absolutely batters and does what he says he's going to, he batters and annihilates KSI, then it, it'll it'll put that extra incentive to Eddie Hearn, to uh, promoters that look, you can't put these guys in with anybody who's professional because this guy couldn't even beat the world's worst boxer. So if I so if I keep doing this, these guys are gonna get severely hurt, and then it might it might it might be it might contribute to, towards helping stop this whole YouTuber vlogger boxing s series that you know i think it might it, 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 it had it's gonna bring some positives to the sport but too much of anything is not a good thing and eventually i think somebody will get hurt and then and then you know it doesn't look so good for eddie Hearn. it doesn't look doesn't look so good for matchroom boxing it doesn't look so good for the zone you know everybody's everybody's ha ha and he heing right now because the checks cleared and 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 those ach checks are in the bank account and their bank balance is on the way up but you know, when, when somebody gets hurt, then then all of a sudden they're gonna be the bad guys. So I want to see this just because, like, if if Robin Deacon wins, then you prove a point. He can prove a point there. But then, if KSI wins, like, if KSI beats Robin Deacon, the world's worst boxer, then could KSI continue to box? Could he have a career on a low level in the sport of boxing? Who knows? I mean, I've heard I've heard, I've heard KSI talk about himself wanting to continue boxing after the Logan Paul fight, continuing to, continuing to have fights. So he's already on record saying that. Robin Deacon's challenging him. Robin Deacon is not, you know, a world-class fighter. He never, he never was a world-class fighter, but he is a journeyman. He's got experience. And it's, it's worth looking into. So let, let, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about Robin Deacon, the world's worst boxer, versus KSI.
Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, like I say in every single one of these videos. You can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.